What's up everyone, Netherwood here with more Hearts of Iron 4 for you. Don't even breathe! If you don't, or I, man, I can't even remember, I had this all set up. I got a lot of stuff to talk about today, that's why I'm, I'm kind of screwed up with the intro there. Don't even breathe unless you have a heart of iron. Anyway, that's, uh, that's whatever, right? Um, so I've got a bunch of notes, I've been studying up on the game like I was saying I was going to have to do. And there's a bunch of stuff I want to do. First, I need to balance training with production. Well, that's not first. It's one of the notes. Because I don't have as much training as I have production. Um, I have a lot more production ca uh, capacity. And as you can see, I'm actually building up a lot of supplies. So I kind of feel like I need to train more dudes. This is not enough divisions training, infantry divisions. Maybe one more Panzer, probably another one of these uh, SS divisions, which are really just mechanized infantry. Um, and then probably don't need the Alpine dudes or the uh, Mountaineer guys, because really you only need them for like Switzerland and maybe Hung or Austria, which we're going to have to fight there too. But I think it's not that hard to fight here, actually. Forest. We really just have to go over here and grab Vienna because it's worth 30 victory points. But anyway, uh, should consider stockpiling some. Equipment early on, that's definitely something I should be doing so that in case I get into, uh, have an issue, you know, and I'm getting pushed on, I have equipment available. Um, focus on building factories, yes, that's what I should be doing, and with that, I'm definitely going to be switching research right here. I'm going to switch out delay, which is a whole year. Um, I'm going to switch that out for, uh, electronic me mechanical engineering, which gives me a research time bonus. 94 days, it's way better. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm still going to go with basic machine tools and construction. I'm also going to do support weapons because I'm going to focus uh, on that pretty soon here. This is infantry. Uh, there's a couple of land doctrine things I'm going to be able to get as well. Uh, I just noticed this and I didn't write it down. But if we go to the nation, uh, uh, the nation focus tree right here, if you look at a lot of these, the, the effects are a lot of bonuses to research. You can see this one is... 50% research bonus, uh, valid for the next one researches of these technologies, Panzer, Panzer 3, right? Panzer Kampfwagen 3. And two times 50% research bonus for armor tech. So when I grab this, that's when I'm going to want to do some research. So there's a bunch of this stuff in there. You can see there's land doctrine right there. And I think this gives you a land doctrine one as well. Yes, land doctrine right there. So that's going to be pretty quick. I'm going to be getting that. Here's some political power and army experience. Um, and then we've got air bases. We don't care about that. We're building the Autobahn right now because I really want to get to... Uh, what's this? Available effect. Political advisor. Oh, that's a polit political advisor. Uh, land fort construction fee. Blah, 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 blah. Add 12 land forts on the French border. Uh, but if I have a Mausland, I get 12 more. I really want to get to this. I get six factories for free, basically. That's ridiculous, okay? So that's going to be something I'm going after, too. But you know what? There's a bunch of special research things in here that if you look at it, um, you're going to get some cool research stuff. And some of these kind of don't tell you what they do. Like if you go to... Um, where is it? I just saw it. Fate of Greece? It just says, oh, effect. Greece gets this event. It doesn't tell you what it does. I don't have to research it, so why would I research this if it doesn't give me any kind of bonus? So I'm going to have to go check that out. I wish I wish you could just hover over it. Uh, if you click it, there's no hovering, right click, left click, it doesn't do anything. I don't know what the effects are of this. And that kind of leads me into the next thing. I, I figured out what the, why this game seems so difficult and complicated. It's because I can only see, really, my armies and navies. Like, I can't see, if I click strategic air map, where are my air forces? I think this means I have air forces there, but I'd like to see them as units. Like, these are units, right? I'd like to see my air forces as units. And I'd like to see where they're operating. Like, if I've got some fighters in here doing air superiority, I want to see them flying around. It shows me that they're um, that I've got some fighters here doing air superiority, right? And I can kind of look and see what, I, my, what I'm doing with air. Now, I know when you click, like, a state here, it's strange that these are all connected. Um, oh, this is just an air... Uh, region, I guess. Uh, once you uh, basically assign stuff to this air region, it will show up on what they're doing. I understand that. But I like to see some icons. Uh, as well, when... Let's just do that. When I have a fight going on, I'd like to see the fight or see, like, 
British planes attacking my planes. If I can see anything about British, I want to see it on the map, and I'm not seeing that really. So that kind of uh, sucks. Let's go back to uh, the regular map here. Um, I need to focus on construction and engineering research. I just talked about that. Building factories is the same is also what I need to uh, focus on because I know later on I'm not going to be able to focus on that stuff as much and uh, there's going to be a lot of repairs that I need to do as people bomb my infrastructure and things like that. And if you look at your uh, construction queue, it ends up being filled up with like repair and that means you're not building any factories, you're not expanding your 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 uh, your macro game right your economy so I really want to get those factories going first another great way to get factories is to take someone over like if I wanted to see hey also I don't know anything about Warsaw from looking at this or I mean Poland I have to click here click Poland uh, luckily I have the details open usually it's this map if you go to details you can see they have 16 to 19 factories right civilian factories that's good that means when I if I take this over and they capitulate to me then I get a bunch more factories it's it's kind of a nice way to not have to build your own stuff. Oh, they have nine military factories. Looks like they have 23 to 50 divisions. Um, so that's kind of interesting. They also produce oil, which I think is like... No, seven? Eight? No, seven? Uh, there we go. Yeah, they have four oil. That, that would be really good for us to grab. Um... So I think that's what it is, is just knowing how to get the information you need, and it's really difficult to do in this game, it seems like. So focus on construction and engineering research, I did do that. Focus on infantry tech a bit before tanks, because most of what we're going to need, most of what we're fighting against is our soft targets in the beginning, like a bunch of infantry and cavalry and stuff. We're not really fighting tanks early on, so I don't really need to focus on tank uh, tank research just yet. Build up oil and trade, that's definitely what I'm going to be doing once I build some more factories. Uh, civilian factories. I'm going to be building um, synthetic refineries. They're very expensive, um, but also I need civilian factories to trade with. Um, I was watching some other guys. They mainly built military factories. The problem really is you can't trade with them, and they don't have help you with construction. As, as far as I know, you only get. Um, let's look uh, from exports. Okay, consumer goods 15, right? And one from imports. So I only get 15 left to build with. So you can't build more um, buildings with your military factories. You have to build them with, with civilian factories. And that's what's going to help me build uh, more like forts and things like that. So that's what I learned as well. What else am I working on? Uh, build up oil and trade. I already talked about that. I do need to trade more for my production. I shouldn't have such a gap here. It's really slowing me down. So I need to fix that with trade, which is going to slow my construction of additional civilian factories but whatever uh, set up training army to auto train troops that's something I saw on someone's let's play um, and I'm not gonna name names because there's a lot of let's players out there who got like a free four days in advance uh, allowed to basically release their videos on YouTube and nobody else got that so they've already got their bonus they, they already have plenty ahead of us normal people so what I'm gonna do is let's get out of this and I'm going to say create, uh, select divisions before creating an army. Let's select, let's see about these guys. They're already trained up. You can see right here, experience level 3, the regular, gives a 25% modifier in combat. I think when I was fighting with my Italian guys, I was not training them, so they started out pretty crappy. So what I'm going to do is just select one dude here, and I'm going to move him kind of into the center here, maybe near Berlin, just over there. And, and I'm going to assign him to an army. And let's just do, well, we don't want Rommel, because this guy is, uh, uh, we want a guy who's not that good, doesn't have a lot of bonuses, we're going to want to use those guys for other things. So this is armor, this guy also, so we got three armor generals, they also have reconnaissance bonuses, that's awesome. So that is going to be, this is going to be my main guy, I think, Manstein. Manstein, I'm not exactly sure how to say that. Von Bach is good. Also, if you look at the skill level, these guys already have 20% attack and defense. They have really skilled generals. Germany starts out with really skilled generals. A lot of the Italian generals are level 1. You start out with just crap, right? Let's put... This guy looks pretty old. Let's put this guy uh, in there, and maybe we should promote him so we can put more than 24 dudes in there. So let's look at... Uh, where is this dude? He's not in here. Where the hell is he? What's his name? Oh, he doesn't have a hat on. 
He's just an old dude without a hat. Oh, I'm sure they're not going to be in here. Where's his... Yeah, not that. Uh, how do I promote this guy? You know what? Let's just do this. Let's just do that. Remove the army. He should be back in the list now. Let's just kill the list. Uh, yep. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta reassign this dude. He's right. Well, he was right here. Let's do what we did by skill. Where the hell is he? Here he is. Promote. Uh, all positive traits. Yeah, he doesn't have any, so that's perfect. Uh, now he is a field marshal, which means he can have as many divisions as he wants. He's still not selected. Here he is. So he's a field marshal. I can have as many divisions assigned to him as possible as I feel. So, oh, he also lost a skill level. That's interesting. Well, hopefully he'll get it back. So basically what we're going to do is I'm going to tell him to go over here. And we're going to do, uh, where is it? No, no. We're going to do some, uh, what is that called? We're going to do some, man, they used to do them all the time when I was in the Air Force. I hated them. Garrison, nope. Fallback, nope. We don't care about that. Frontline, we don't care. Divisions assignment mode. There's something we're going to exercise. That's what we're going to do. We're going to exercise. That's going to get my guy's troops where they just stand around and do nothing. Now, it does consume uh, parts and things like that. But And then, so now what we're going to do is go back into training. We're going to say all these guys, right? All these, uh, deployment should have at least one order within. So what I'm going to do is click this guy and then click him. That's not, that didn't work. Let's see. Right click to reset location. Click to set deployment location. I already did that. Why is this locked? Deployment should have at least one order within theater to be assigned to any group. Deployment should have at least one order. Deployment order? Hmm. So this guy is going here. So the order will be to garrison an area. I don't know. How about right here? That looks good. Just garrison the area. So, and then we're going to be doing some... Uh, okay, so that's good. Now let's go back here. We should be able to just do this. Boom. Those guys will auto-attach to this army and start exercising and working up their... Um, their they'll get some bunch of training. So we're also going to add a bunch of units here. Like I said, I should have been training a lot more. Let's do eight infantry units. Let's do... I think we should do... A couple more of these. We're going to make this a panzer unit. And then I don't really feel like we need any of these right now. We're going to kill the, the mountaineers. Might be good to have one mountaineer. How much? How many mountains do we really have over here? Like if you look at Poland, it's fairly flat. And you can click the little uh, regions here. Plains. See, that's not hilly. Forest, which again is not mountaineering. Although, I think, no, see, mountaineers only receive bonuses in uh, forest, right? Hills and mountains, that's it. So, it doesn't matter unless it's a mountain or a hill. See, plains, mountain. Okay, these are, the mountaineers would be good here, but we're going to get this piece right here. That was something we did in World War II, and we will be getting that so we won't have to fight on the mountains there. I don't think we need to worry about mountains for a while, so we're not going to worry about those dudes. Let's go back to recruitment. I think this looks good. Okay, other things I wanted to do. I, set up, I did set up a training army. I want to influence the USS article fascist. That was a question mark. I don't think I really need to do this because I don't need their help that much. I've already had a couple of nation focuses that will get me into an alliance with them, so I don't really think I need to, to do that. Um, I have seen a lot of people influence the, US, the United States into whatever type of uh, government they are currently have. Like if you're the Soviets, you're going to want to influence these guys with communism so that they won't attack you, right? Um... I'm not sure I want to do that. Boost party popularity. I don't... Oh, it will cost some of my political power, though. Philippines are a puppet. United States is guaranteeing independence of Canada. All these places. Oh, that's really everything in North America. So who cares about that? Um, I kind of don't want to copy other people, but man, it was a really great idea. Wow, look at the factories over there, man. That's crazy. Uh, it's probably a good idea, though. Probably a good idea. Damn. Keeps them out of the war. Let's see. Fastest. It will cost 2.25 per day. Okay, so that's not too bad. Yeah, let's start that. That's fine. 
fascism starting in the United States. So we haven't even started the game yet. Uh, let's see. Uh, Japan is going to up world tension, so we, war can only be put off so for so long. So we want to put off war for a while. We want to put off the allies going to war, which if you look at factions, which I think is uh, F9, yeah, you can see, again, the reason why I'm not sure if doing a hard alliance with the USSR will really work, because we can't really join. We both have factions already, so we can't really join each other's faction, I don't think. But look, allies is already created. I think it's just Great Britain for now. It's like Canada and some other parts right here. But uh, we don't want the allies to get involved in any wars. We can attack these guys right now as long as, like if you look at uh, Czechoslovakia, nobody's guaranteeing their independence. That means we'll go to war for you if somebody attacks you. Uh, so we don't want that. Uh, create shorter duration plans. Troops become disorganized quickly and then suffer huge stat loss. Yeah, I, I made too big of a... Um, my plans when I was playing Italy were too large, like take over all of Yugoslavia. I should have made a plan to here, then maybe make another plan if it's not going so well. You know, kind of look at my plans and re... Uh, basically re-prepare. Because what happens is... Once you change the plan and they're unprepared, they suffer huge uh, penalties. And we want to prevent that as much as possible because it really weakens the troops. Uh, also, blitz for high victory point areas to cause capital capitulation. Like, if you look at Czechoslovakia, and I wanted to attack them, if you have a, a country give up, you get all their territories. So if you look at Czechoslovakia, I don't know if we can actually, actually need to look at the state. Oh, we don't have a war with them. But it'll tell you how many... Um, of these victory points you need to have or they need to lose basically until they give up so if you look at Prague it's uh well it's not telling me now it was telling me how many victory points you know why because I'm not in this probably 20 victory points this is one that's not much at all so you can see all you need to that's 10 there are certain spots you need to go after and like that's one it's not really worth anything now apparently every province is worth a little bit but like Really, all you need to get is this and that, and you got 30 points, right? So, and there's another five. So once we collapse on Prague, uh, we're done. So, like, if we're having a hard time crossing the river right here, just stop and rush in with these dudes or something, or come up from behind. Um, also, I should be blitzing. I should go around if I have a lot of extra units. Just go around and fight from the backside. I think you get bonuses for that. We'll have to check on that. So that's pretty much all my notes. There were a couple other ones I threw in there that I don't have written down. But that's uh, that's basically what I'm going to be doing. So everything's kind of set up. We're probably going to be playing at about that speed. Let's make sure research everything's set up. So the research is set up. Support weapons, which we don't get any bonuses for. Um, in our, in our um, focus tree right here. It might be a good idea... So for this, that's just, okay, we, we only get, like, diplomacy. We don't care about that. So that's when we're going to want to, when we want the PZ-3, we need to go after that. Panzerkampfwagen. I'm probably saying that completely wrong. I almost always do. That'll give us air bases. We really want to push for this. We want civ for civilian factories. So, but I also want army innovations. That way I can do some land doctrine, right? So I'm going to do, I'm going to hit down to this, then I'm going to get army innovations. So I can do some land doctrine stuff. For a while, I'm going to focus on construction and stuff like that. So diplomacy, we don't care. Trade, we don't care yet because I want to go back to logistics. We need a lot more infantry equipment. Motorized, we need a lot more of. Towed, artillery, we need quite a bit more of. Support equipment, yes, tons, but not as much as our uh, infantry stuff. We need really need tons of that. So I'm going to go back into production... And I'm going to get rid of... Well, I'll keep doing fighters just a little bit. The planes can stay. But I want to get rid of... I think we need to max this out. So we need to get rid of something else. I think we can get rid of towed artillery for a while. Let's just let's just get rid of that. I think we have a... Don't we have a... Oh, we have no units of that. We have no backlog of any kind of... Items at all. Hmm. So we do need some artillery. I thought we had more of that. Toad Artillery 1. So let's just get those back in, I guess. We'll be getting more... Uh, well, we won't get mil more military factories until we attack someone. I'm going after Poland first. 
I don't want me attacking Poland to cause a problem, and I'm going to get a bunch of factories doing that. Also, be the demilitarized zone, I'll get rid of that just so I can protect my borders a little bit. If you look at, at Amsterdam, how many... Oh, that's a good amount of factories. But they usually get protected pretty fast. 11 to 13, that's a lot of factories too. 3, that's not much. How much we got over here? 16 to 19. What about Denmark? 7, not a lot. 16 to 19, so this is a good chunk too. When we get this region, yeah, 13 to 15, so we should be going after this stuff because, like, Austria wants to be with us anyway. So it's real easy to get them. They only have nine factories, though. 13 to 15. We're going to focus on the east. Then we'll go after the west. Um, probably would be a good idea to get one or, one of these two. Probably uh, Belgium, because then I, have a, I can attack France without having to go through the Maginot Line, which would be completely retarded probably should get them again you want to just keep it on the download and try to get try to be able to attack people without you know having UK jump on you once the UK jumps on you the war has begun okay so that's pretty much what I'm gonna do so another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another army so let me select everybody who's not in this army that's this one right so let's select everybody else. Let's just do it like this. Oops. I thought I could... Yeah, there we go. And not this guy. No, not that guy. Not... Oh, God. Here we go. Come on. Not this guy. We're going to make another army. We're going to call this... Western... Well, let's see. Eighth Army. And that's how the... The Americans did their army names. How did the Germans do their army names? Well, I can't. I'll have to do that off camera. We're going to call this one. Well, see, we're going to be moving around a lot. So let's give them a name like. Uh, I don't know. We'll give this one a cool name. Actually, we don't want to put those guys with it, right? Because those are our panzer groups. So is that. These are just infantry. We'll make an infantry only army. Infantry only. And we'll say, uh, let's see, skill. Do we have an infantry dude? Out of supply, negative 50%. Skilled in infantry. Blah, 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 blah. This commando is a man of many talents. So when you're cut off from supply, this guy's really good. So he's good for paratroopers. What's this guy good for? Armor? We don't, we don't really care about armor. None of these guys have any... Yeah, then we're getting into three. This is bad. See, that guy's an old general. He likes to... He likes to uh, dig in. But these are field marshals. They can, you know, have as many troops as you want. I wonder if we can put armies under field marshals. Should be able to. You'd think it would be able to. Let's start with one of these dudes that is basically Von Bock. You're going to be the first dude. Von Bock is uh, army group 2. Actually, it's not a group. It's just an army, right? Uh, army 2 for now. I'll think of cool names later. He can have 24 divisions. Right now he has... What? No. I don't want him to have that. He should only have three. Why does he have seven? We'll kick this one out. Those are going to be the Panzer ones. That's going to be Rommel. Alright, so we got that guy. Let's make it... Oop, cancel. Let's do... Um, This is going to be Rommel. Right? That's kind of an easy one. Erwin, Erwin Rommel. We got Rommel on our side. Mm! Sweet. Alright, Rommel. Panzer one or something like that. We'll, we'll see. All right, so we're going to move those guys to the front. See, now I wish I could put these guys under our army group. That would be really cool. So we'll take this guy. We're going to move him up to the Polish line here. Let's see. Let's create a front. You can also draw a front. But I think for the army group, we're just going to do it like that. And we're going to say, uh, well, they're already, they'll move to the front when we turn it on. For these guys, we are going to draw a front, which I think I can do just by, yeah, I'm just going to draw a front, because basically what I want to do is I'm going to beeline it to uh, Warsaw. 
I think beelining it right through here to Warsaw is a good idea, although I think these guys can pretty much get there quicker. But I think we're going to want them down here to capture all these victory points, so let's put them right here. Well, no. Uh, nope. Front line here. Why, uh, why did you do that? Is it a right click? Apparently it is. So we want them, like, right here. So they'll only deploy on that line. Why do we have to... Well, I guess I'm going to have to kill this off. Kill off your plan, dude. Man. Sometimes the UI just gets in my way with this freaking game. Alright, so there's that. We're also going to pull... We're going to do this again. We're going to pull this back a tiny bit here. It didn't work. Right click and drag the mouse. Right click and drag the mouse. So I'm going to the borders. Shorter interval on the existing frontline edges to edit them. Actually, that's this. Edit. So I can pull this back because I want it to be a little bit tighter. Uh, no, that looks probably good. That's fine. Okay. And also, you can cancel your orders. Right? Cancel. Just do whatever you need to do. Move into the uh, front. Yeah, cancel. Just do whatever you need to do. Okay, so those guys have... We have we're all set up there. We got a few troops here. I'm just going to leave them the way they are. Not a lot of help there. Alright, so let's get these guys organized onto fronts. Let's get... This should be the southern army. Really don't need to be on the front down here. You probably need to be on the front over here. So let's get these guys. They'll be in a new army. What's this guy? Out of supply? Nope, we'll, be, we'll pick Witzelben. Witzelben! Army 3. So we're going to put you right here. I think on this whole thing. He's going to spread out a lot, but that's okay. There you go. That's his front. And then these guys. Your front. Your army. Is going to be with... Uh, Kuckler? I don't think that's correct, but that, you know, whatever. I don't speak German. So we'll, let's put these guys, let's put them up here. But I don't want them in the demilitarized zone, so let's, let's edit this thing. And let's just pull it back with the right mouse right here to there. There we go. So now we've got pretty much everybody set up. We've got a couple of dudes down here just kicking it. That's completely fine. We don't really care. That guy doesn't need to do anything. He's just protecting from an invasion from there. Which, actually, why don't we just put them... Yeah, you go with him, because we don't really need you over there. It's not like we're going to... Denmark's going to attack or anything. All right. I think we're good. Do we need a fifth army here? Wouldn't be a good idea. Let's do another army. This is a lot of armies, but I think it's going to be fine. We have plenty of generals. I'm not worried about it. Kesselring. So, Kesselring is going to go your front is the whole nation and yeah just this whole thing we'll just draw the whole thing out just this whole thing just actually yeah with the Poland sweet so also I'm going to going to let's see well, where are my air forces I only have ten, two minutes left see I told you this is going to take a long time I want to start patrolling um, I wish you could just make fighters patrol so I don't have anybody Okay, so if you look at if you look at this, the northwest Germany, northwest Germany here, we got what? Northwest Germany, western Germany, eastern Germany. You can see them actually. So we only have three air air areas right now. So what I probably want to do, actually, we don't need to do anything until we actually want to attack. So we'll just leave our air forces alone for now. We don't have any reserves right now because we haven't built any planes. So I think we're done. Do we balance everything out here? Sort of. We really should stop building aircraft. Let's go. Let's stop building aircraft. We don't need these right now. We can build those later. We don't. We don't need those. We we really need to build troops, right? We need this. We need infantry equipment, massive amounts of it. So now, if you look at logistics. That is much better, much more balanced. 
Well, this isn't really balanced. Probably need more motorized and less support. In fact, support needs to go down quite a lot. So let's let's go to production again. And what do we got support? Let's do two support. And let's add another line of uh, weapons here. Nope, that is not it. Oh yeah, it is right there. Let's move it up to give it a higher priority. Probably should move those other ones up too. This is how they spend the resources. And in fact, since this is, you know, we only need two of them, we're going to move that one down. So this guy's going to get two more. And then this guy needs to move up as well. Can I just click and drag him? Nope. Equipment from this line is currently being used for reinforcement. Um, that looks good. Sweet. Okay, I think we're I think we're good with our production. Construction's good. We built a bunch of factories, right? Recruit and deploy. I think is looking good. We've got eight infantry, and then we've got our Panzer divisions building. And, and I think that's good. I think we're good to go there. Sweet! <laughs> we're out of time, and I haven't even started the game yet. Uh, I think we're good. Everything's all set up. I'm going to start the game on the next episode. I'll be building a bunch of troops, and we will start getting to it. And I'm probably going to get ready to invade Poland. But I want to invade with at least 50 divisions, maybe more. And I only have, right now, where's my line? Okay, there's the purple line. So that's three. Seven, right? Because that's, that's the uh, Panzer division. And then who's this dude? Oh, he's down there. He, he's, he's not he's not helping us out. Yeah, he's in the north. Probably should move all these guys. It's not like the Netherlands are really gonna do anything. Why don't we disband this? This guy. And let's add all these dudes to this guy. There we go. Now he has eight divisions. That's much better. I don't think seven divisions here is really necessary. Why don't we take these? And assign him to this guy. Now he has 11. And we can also, once we build up some more dudes, we'll reassign them where needed. So that's going to do it for episode 2. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you're liking this series. I know it's going a little slow. Um, I should hopefully be able to start um, getting some war efforts ready and turn on the game on the next episode. It's just a lot to set up here and get everything ready. Let me know what your... Uh, ideas are and what your tips are for this game. I always like to hear what you guys think and what you're doing. Tell me if you're playing this game. I'd like to know who you're playing, what nation, and all that stuff. And uh, if you like this series, like it, favorite it. There's also a link to the playlist in the video description if you want to see the whole series. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. We'd really appreciate that and love to see you around. And as always, everyone, stay frosty.